Hi everyone, it's James Van Prague. How are you? It's been a long time since I've been on Facebook Live, doing a lot of different things. So I'm going to share that with you and get back to you before my uh, radio broadcast in a half an hour on Hay House Radio. So thank you everybody for uh, your constant emails and your uh, coming to my events. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm really excited because I've just finished my long anticipated course, which I've worked really hard on. And it is... Um, the Life Tools for the Highly Sensitive Person. So throughout my many years of doing this work as a medium, I've met a lot of people who are drawn to my work because they themselves are an empath or a highly sensitive person. So I want to design a course based upon helping them, whether their sensitivity, their empathic behavior, picking up people's emotions, having all this crazy energy around and not knowing what to do with that. So I want today to tell you that um, I just finished this course. You might have seen the Facebook page, the, the uh, uh, videos I've done. I've done three videos, introduction videos. Those are to start off this uh, course. But today I want to tell you exactly what it's about on Facebook Live so you know more about it. Uh, it was probably in the process, I would say, I know when I started, first started doing this work, well, even before that was a kid, I'll tell you some experiences I had, but there was no place to go to that someone who was extra sensitive and picked up energy from everybody and didn't know what to do with that energy and finally realizing it wasn't my energy that it was that was wrong. It was I was picking up people's energy like a sponge. And people that are drawn to this type of work, uh, spiritual work, psychic work, uh, intuitive work, angel work, anything to do really with the etheric and the emotional levels um, are HSPs, highly sensitive people or em empathetic people. And you'll see in the course, I don't distinct between the two of them because it's kind of like almost the same thing for me. Other people might have different meanings, at them, but for me, I... I don't want to get caught up in the labels of them, so I say the same thing in the course. But um, when I was a little boy, one of the first sensitive experiences I had, I went to a Catholic school. So I went to the church on every Sunday. And I remember I walked into this uh, church, the church in the pew, and my mother was to my um, right side, and my sister and so forth, my brother. And I remember this lady was sitting next to me, and I got this really weird, overwhelming feeling of depression. I was so depressed. And this is before I knew anything about my own abilities. And I was very, very depressed about it. And I started crying. And my mother said, what's wrong with you? I said, I don't know. I feel this overwhelming feeling of depression. And then at the end of the Mass, I turned, I must have been about eight years old, turned to the lady next to me and asked her, are you okay? Because I feel like crying. And she said, no, I just lost my husband of 40 years three days ago. So I was picking up her depression. I was picking up her energy. And I didn't know that, right? So that was the first time that I became very aware that I'm picking up someone else's energy. You know, and we do it every day without knowing it. So imagine this, that everything is energy. So thoughts are energy. Thoughts are created. And thoughts have a target. So when someone's thinking of you, especially if you're a highly sensitive person, that thought goes right to its target, to you. Because if someone's thinking of you, that's a target you. So that energy, that thought form sits on you. So it's in your auric field. And until you take the time to really become aware and discern between your own energy and the energy of somebody else who's in your space or on, in your auric field, you know, there could be some trouble. There could be some, many times I've worked with people who have depression and who have a sense of anxiety, anxiousness, um, who can't sleep, um, very depressed. Uh, and it ends up being that they're really being um, part of being a psychic vampire, been, a psychic vampire has attacked them, pulled their energy, or they've been receiving energy from somebody else, and they don't know what to do with that. So I had to do this course for that reason, for those reasons and other reasons. So many people on my uh, Hay House radio show said, you know, please develop a course because I have so much energy, I don't know what to do with the energy, how to shut it down. If spirits are talking to me, I don't know how to stop it. Um, I'm picking up everybody else's stuff. Um, we all... All of HSPs do that, and you're not you're drawn to this to me and to this type of work because you're an HSP. Like attracts like. Another experience I had when publishing was I was going out for my second book, Reaching to Heaven. I'm trying to sell that, and um, I remember I walked into the uh, room, the meeting room, the boardroom, um, back in New York, and I walked in, and I think it was Dutton Publishers, and I walked in this room, and it was really heavy, heavy energy, and I was like, <gasps> and it's like like I couldn't breathe, like heavy energy. And I found out that um, a half hour before, in that same room, someone was fired. 
So that energy was still there. It was still in the, the, the etheric, the, the energy in the space. It was still there. And I picked up that depression. I picked up that shock, that the sense of that termination, that sense of something ending, some upset, some depression. So we have to learn how to learn how to um, pick up, and we know when it's other people's energy or our own energy and how to deal with that. So I wrote down what my course is about, just so if you have, um, you'd like to go on and, and check it out. Um... Let's see. Uh, well, I want to say why it's so different than other courses because it is very different than other courses. Because a lot of you have read probably self improvement books and taken courses in self improvement. But I got to ask you have they really helped you? Have they changed your life? Just asking. Um, I wrote this last night. I believe the reason you may not have reaped what you've sown is because you're expecting techniques that work for people, for other people that will work for you. And they won't because you're a different type of animal. You're a different type of soul. You're a unique HSP, a highly sensitive person. So when the reality, then the reality is you're a highly sensitive person and there are distinct needs and ways for you um, to do certain things and to, to enter certain spaces and for you to interact with other people. Um, you just have to learn to use your sensitivity in a way that works for you. Being a sensitive, a unique, a highly sensitive person, an empath, is not a curse. It is not a curse. So many people think it's a curse to have be so sensitive. It is not. It is a blessing. But you have to learn how to make that, have that sense of being a blessing, how to use it productively, creatively, that you're in control of it. It not being in control of you. So that's really important. That's what the course is about, learning how you can control that energy, the space, how to create a powerful uh, boundaries between you and somebody else, how to own your sacred space, how to get back your energy from somebody else. I do exercise every night you get back other people's energy who you've been talking to on, the, let's say, the phone during that day or people you interacted with that, that one day. You left your energy with them. So at night before you go to bed, I have this exercise where you bring back all that energy into your body, into the, the crown chakra. It's pretty cool. Um, so the course is unique. Not only do I teach you how to protect your sensitive energy, but show you how to use, use it to create the life that you really want. So you can use it. You can benefit you. You know, it's not an accident that you're a highly sensitive person. So I just want to tell you that. Um, I have here, uh, I wrote down different bullet, kind of bullet points of what you learned quickly. Um, discover how to use your sensitivity as an asset to help you succeed beyond your wildest dreams. I did it. Look, I, I'm a sensitive. I own it. I'm aware of it. It's not always easy because there are, you know, waves of storms and, you know, Southern HSBs, we always feel responsible for everything, right? Always feel, oh, I must have done something wrong. Oh, it wasn't me. Or the opposite, I can fix that. I can fix that. I, I can fix that problem. No matter what it is, I can fix it. That's typical of HSPs. And we're like, um, also doormats, you know, get used. We, on that doormat, people rub their feet on the doormat. We're the doormat, and we've got to learn not to be the doormat. So we've got to honor ourselves in a way. Um, finally, ooze, finally, ooze confidence and love yourself. Instead of feeling you're enslaved to it, but love yourself. Embrace it. Um, without changing who you are, you know, you can, you can be who you are, but be aware. It's more like an awareness, if you will. Um... Liberate yourself from the stress, overwhelming stress, and self-doubt that holds us back. Because many times in HSPs, they tend to live in fear. Number one, that they're different. That they're different, that no one will understand them. That, you know, I, I don't know how to behave in this world. No one gets me. Been there, done that. Um, if you have this sense, um, and this of course I teach you self-confident ex exercises, reminders really, of how you can be yourself. And not worry what other people think of you. Because remember, what other people think of you is none of your business, right? Um, also, because the, this is the first week of doing this, um, I have a bonus. So uh, if you sign up, you two, you two access, exclusive access to never before shared. I just, this was great. I did a seven-day energy cleanse. It's a seven-day seven, every single day as an energy cleanse, cleansing yourself. So it's a seven-day energy cleanse over seven days. And I lead you through incredible processes and exercises. And, and really, it is um, the seven-day cleanse is different every day. And you become aware of what's weighing you down. What are you holding on to that doesn't belong to you? Worries, problems. Am I supposed to have that? So what are you holding on to that you've been holding on to for a long time? What patterns need to be broken? Remember, the first step to healing is awareness. 
And through the seven-day cleanse, I go through the awareness of these obstacles that are holding you down, weighing you down, if you will. So that's really important. So a seven-day cleanse comes with that. And also, um, for uh, a limited time, of course, over 40% off, because we're going to go up, probably going to go up next week, um, so it's really pretty low. Um, so if you sign up this uh, by Tuesday, June 5th, that's tonight, um, there's a coupon code you can use to save 40% off. It's already pretty low. I mean, it's already pretty low. I'm like Kmart discount. Um, write down the code, save 50. So it's 50, no, save 50. Oh, an additional $50 off when you enroll by Tuesday, okay. So if you roll today, $50 off on top of the 40%. Wow. I'm just really discounting myself. So uh, use a coupon code, save 50 at checkout. Okay, so that is life tools for the highly sensitive person. Go on the JVP School of Mystical Arts. Read about it more if you want to. It's really a course that I've developed because so many people say I'm overwhelmed with energy. How do I get this energy? I, I just can't out of my head. I can't do it. That's what this course is about. It's, it's really for that. So I hope you enjoy it. I really do. I think I, I've worked really hard to present it. It's over 45 videos, and it's a really great beginner course for anybody who's oh sensitive and feels like they're out of control, or they pick up other people's stuff, or they get depressed all the time, or they can't go somewhere in large crowds and shopping malls or airports or stuff like that. I have learned how to do it very quickly. So I'm giving you techniques that I personally have used and still use to this day. So thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to go get ready for my Hay House radio show. And if you want to uh, go on to that, it's hayhouseradio.com. And I'm there at 11 o'clock. And I'm going to be talking all about HSPs, highly sensitive people, in the workplace. Da -da -da. Because that's another whole lifetime, right, in the workplace. So... Thank you, everybody. I'm off this weekend to um, Philadelphia, the Lavoy Theater. I'll be there on uh, Thursday night. So I'm doing work at Lavoy. It's in New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, Lavoy Theater, and Mill Millbrook, I believe it is. So it's on my website, bamprog.com. Okay, bye. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the course.